Okay, so we are gonna connect to uh, Linux with uh, Putty and using a private key and public key pair. So let's go to the Putty ge key generator. And by the way, all the softwares in this tutorial will be, uh, uh, I'll give you this link in the description. You can either download them one by one. So we are gonna use a Putty agent and uh, Putty and Putty gen. Or you can download everything in a zip file or if you want you can even install it with the uh, windows installer so i'm going to go to putty key uh, generator so when i click on generate i'm going to just move my mouse to generate a random key okay and then I can give a comment here YouTube so this is gonna be uh, helpful to identify which key is which so here YouTube if I type 111 you can see it's gonna change 111 okay so this is gonna be my public key and the public key for passing it to open SSH so I'm not gonna save the public key it's gonna save it in another format so we have to take this public key okay so i'm gonna save uh, copy that and then go to my uh, ftp or sftp go to root dot ssh this is for centos 7 and centos in general it's, it's going to be here if it's in ubuntu it's going to be uh, directly root SSH. If you don't have it, you can create it. And uh, you can look more on how to create an authorized keys uh, file. So I'm going to edit this authorized keys. And all those files, they are public keys. I'm going to add my public key, the one that I added. And notice that the YouTube here. And save it. Close it. I have authorized the key to be used now I'm gonna save my private private key so it's gonna ask you would you like okay um, uh, I would like uh, I'm gonna protect it with the key for this example okay again pass uh, pass phrase okay save private key and I'm going to put it on desktop and we'll call it private key. And here it is. Now we're done with uh, this software. We need to connect now using this private key. So I'm going to go to uh, putty, putty, go to connection, data. And here I'm going to put my username. So I'm not going to be prompted again for uh, putting the uh, for typing the username. And I'm going to click on SSH auth and browse for my private key. Okay. Let's go to session. Type the IP of my uh, machine. So give me just one second. There we go. And then give it a name. Linux <laughs> CentOS 7 and then save so you don't have to yeah so I'm gonna open it wait and it's gonna just ask me for the passphrase that I put in the password and then I'm in uh, now we succeeded to uh, log in with our private key now something else would like to do I'm gonna close this one uh, we would like to automate this uh, login and by the way this uh, putty key agent putty agent key when you close it it's gonna still work in the background so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load our private key with this software It's going to ask you 
and that is the YouTube comment that we put there and then now I'm gonna uh, just one thing here in the auth make sure that this attempt at authentication using um, put the agent and I can even go and uh, where is the Linux here so I'm gonna close this one and I know it's working in the background here I'm just gonna double click on it and then I'm done now I'm again I'm gonna close it start again put it from scratch and that's it now uh, once you've done that uh, any software that is going to use putty is going to use this um, credentials and uh, putty uh, agent too so if you're using uh, uh, git client like tortoise in my case i'm using tortoise git tortoise it's going to use this uh, putty agent too so it's very handy Okay, that concludes this video. I hope you learned something and uh, see you later. Take care. Bye-bye.